Many of our jobs will fall prey to automation. 65% in Europe, I read the other day, 68% of jobs in the next 20 years in Australia. Checkout clerks, bookkeepers, here's a list. Right? Bookkeepers number one, because now you have this New Zealand guys from zero, XERO, do you know that company? Right? Their goal is to kill, in parentheses, 20 million bookkeepers and accountants using the software package. And I'm using it, it's mind boggling. 200 bucks saves me $5,000 for my bookkeeper. I can have my son do my bookkeeping now with scanning stuff and putting it in there, right? That's what happens with automation. So here's a list of jobs that will go away. Right? Loan officers, receptionists, paralegals, retail people, taxi drivers, security guards, cooks for fast food, and so on and so on. This may sound depressing to you, looking at how many regular jobs will go away here. Right? But what it does, it frees us up to do all kinds of new jobs that haven't even been invented yet. And it makes us into entrepreneurs. I should say that because in Switzerland, for example, where I live, you know, most people don't start their own company. I think in the US it's about 20%, in Australia it's about eight, and in Switzerland it's 1.2%. Right? So the future of that is you know, us creating things. You know, as my uh, colleague says, Thomas Fry, 60% of the best jobs in the next 10 years haven't even been invented yet. That, those are the jobs for your kids. 